Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Nisha Yuandira I am the English Literature Student, Faculty of Cultural Science, University of North Sumatra I'm here to explain about language acquisitions So, before we jump to the language acquisitions We better know about what is psycholinguistics first So, psycholinguistics contains of two Psychology and linguistics Psychology is the study of human mental process and linguistic is the study of language development. So psycholinguistics is the study of how language develop in relation to the development of human mental processes. It uses linguistics concepts to describe about mental process connected with the acquisitions and the use of the language. So from the definition we can conclude that Language acquisition is just the one of the subdisciplines of psycholinguistics. So we jump to the language acquisitions. Language acquisition is a process to understand the language. More specifically, it is a study how to understand the first language from our mother tongue and second language. Language acquisition is the process by which children achieve fluency, master their mother tongue, and how to develop skills in a foreign language. Okay, so language acquisition can be divided into two categories First language acquisition and second language acquisition We jump to the first language acquisition What is first language acquisition? The acquisition of the first language is a universal process of human Regardless of the language that one will begin to use Almost all human in this world will become fluent in their first language before the age of 5 Which is remarkable so there are some stages of first language acquisitions. The first one is pre-talking. During this time, children don't speak. And they just beginning to understand about short words and phrases. The next stage is bubbling. In this stage, the infants begin to bubbles, which is make noise or syllables that are not yet words. The next stage is holoplastics. In this stage, the infants begin to learn and speak a single word For example like Baba or Dada Something like that The next stage is two words In this stage They are begin to pair groups of words together into mini phrases or sentences The next stage is telegraphic Children begin to expand their two words Phrases into short sentences the last stage is multi-words. It is the final stage of first language acquisition. Children now learn to use functional markers to change the meaning of words they use. It is first language acquisition explanation for me. The next is second language acquisitions. What is second language acquisitions? So second language acquisition usually happens when a human is older, when they are entering school or university. It assures knowledge from the first language and applies that knowledge and processes as an individual go through the steps of learning a second language. So there are four stages of second language acquisition. The first one is pre-production stage. In this stage, the learners don't speak and they just listen to the second language they want to learn. They will observe what is going on with the second language. The next stage is early production stage. Learners start to speak using short words, simple phrases, and sentences. The next, the next stage is speech emergence stage. In this stage, learners can communicate with a, with a simple phrases and sentences using longer words and more complicated structures. The last stage is intermediate fluency stage. So in this stage, learners have a large body of active vocabulary, they can speak fluently with a minimum errors, and can use a complex sentences in writing and speaking. Also, they can express their opinion and share their thoughts by using their second language. I think that's all about my explanation about language acquisition. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for listening.